up with y'all, man? It's Young Shorty Doo Out, aka I Love All My Fans. Today I'm doing a story time about a, a situation that happened with one of my exes um, when she went crazy. One of the times that she went crazy. Um, oh, this is the new merch Fear Nothing, Conquer Everything. You see the Fear Nothing, Conquer Everything's on the back. Got the hats. DM me if you want it. My Instagrams. I love all my fans. Um, did I tell you? Young Shorty Doo Why is he? Right. cool anyway uh so i was uh i broke up with my ex and when we broke up she was like i don't want this i'm like all right whatever it's over like we good you go your way i'm gonna go my way it's it's cool so um when that happened um <laughs> Every time somebody sneezes now, everybody's just like, eh. excuse me for sneezing. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, so where was I at? Because I was losing my train of thought. Uh, so yeah, so this particular time, um, I was going to the On The Run tour with Beyonce when she first had it with Jay-Z. Um, I had bought tickets previously to go take my ex, but, you know, every time she would act stupid and be dumb, I would be like, fuck it, we just ain't going. i sell them. And then I had bought them again or whatever. Um, I had met this young lady. Um, we started dating. And I was like, you want to go see Beyonce and Jay-Z? She was like, oh, yeah, for sure. You already know I want to go. Because we had talked about it previously before we started dating. Like, when we were just hanging out. Um, so at this time, this is when Instagram only had 15 seconds on your Instagram. So we about to go, we, we taking the train out here. We call it BART, you know, I'm from the Bay area. So, um, we was at the bar station when we had drove to the bar, um, on the platform, we like had the little videos or whatever. And, um, we was like, we finna go to the, to the concert. Da, 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 da. And she was like smiling in the camera and all this stuff. So one of my ex's friends, cause mind you, I blocked my ex on everything. I blocked her on my phone on my social media, all that. One of her friends was still following me and sent her the, the video like, girl, you know, shorty out there with this bitch, she went to the concert, da, 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 da. she going to the shop. But we not together, so it's like, I don't know why she did that shit. You know, some females be whatever. I don't know why she did it, but she did it. So, we went to the concert, had hella fun. Beyonce was dope. Jay-Z was dope. It was at the Giant Stadium. So, it was outside at the park, the whole baseball park. It was lit the fuck up. Fireworks, all that shit. It was, oh my God, we had hella fun. So, we left, like, probably, like, midnight or whatever. We was headed back, caught the train. Then, we got in my car, and I drove her home. And then, I went home. And at the time, my mom had got sick some months before. And I had my mom stand with me because I couldn't afford to pay for my rent, her rent. So my mom was at the house and I went home. I went to sleep, woke up at like four in the morning. I look at my phone. It said, your ex is here. And I jump up out the bed. I'm like, I run on the I'm like, mom, what's going on? She's like, oh shit, I didn't even know you were here. I'm like, my, my ex is here? She's like, well, she was. Um, this was earlier. I'm like, earlier when? So she's like, oh, like at maybe two o'clock in the morning. She came to the to the door, you know, knocking on the door, you know, saying she wants to talk to you. I'm like, did you let her in? She was like, hell no, I let her in. You know, I'm fool with that girl. She crazy. I'm like, okay. If my mama think you crazy and she sees something wrong with you from meeting you, like, it's for real. Like, if she tell me, like, oh, I don't like her, don't fuck with her. Something about her aura, you know what I'm saying? Nobody in my family cared for her at all and I, I was just so like blind you know what I'm saying and she used to try to make me seem like I was a bad person but to her family but in reality she was the one doing everything that was bad but um anyway so my mom talked to her through the door and told her it was kind of late to be over here trying to talk to me like you know come back at a different time or you need to call her my mom didn't I don't think my mom knew I blocked her from everything but I did so, um, I had, the next day I had like emailed her cause I blocked her on everything, social media, my phone, all that shit. I was like, um, did you come to my house? Like, you know, my mom's saying with me, like, what, what, what are you doing? You was at the concert with that bitch. And I'm like, okay, we're not together. Like, it doesn't matter. Like you're tripping, like <laughs> mind your fucking business. So I don't even know why you're doing all that. So she was, you know, doing all that shit. Mind you, she didn't want to be with me. She was cheating on me with one of the homies from around the corner. She was cheating on me with... You know, baby daddies, um, uh, a 
person that I thought was like a friend of our family. You know, shit wasn't cool. You know what I'm saying? So it was bad. So um, me and the other girl started, you know, like we were dating and we was together. That was my bitch. I ain't gonna lie. That was my bitch. She was my girlfriend. So, um, and I, it, and she never dated, you know, a girl before. So it was like, oh, okay. And now my ex told me she never dated a girl before, but nah, I think that was a lie too, <laughs> because it's kind of like when you date straight women, I've dated straight women for a hell of years, like for damn near a decade when I was younger. And when a straight woman dates a stud, she not about to be dating hella stud. Now I did have one girlfriend that never fucked with a girl before that, did become a lesbian after she fucked with me but everybody else every other straight female i fucked with fucked with niggas after that had babies got married all that shit they never fucked with no films no stuff none of that shit they wasn't with none of that gay shit so when you you know start dipping and dabbling you already was dipping and dabbing before me so anyway but um so me and a girl dating we at the house one day um I got off of work at 1 in the morning. I think I had switched my shift. So after I get off work, I always every time I got off work, I would go to her house, pick her up, and she'd come spend the night with me. So she was spending the night with me. It was like 9 in the morning. We knocked out cupcakes, sleep in the bed. <sighs> Next thing you know, I hear a ding dong. I'm like, shit, ain't nobody supposed to be coming over here. Shit, you here? Who the fuck gonna come? So she like, go see who it is so you know they could like leave or whatever. I'm like, all right. So I go downstairs. Look to the people. I'm like, who is it? I see a piece of my ex in the people. She like, maintenance. Now, mind you, <laughs> I stayed in the hood. Maintenance man only come when he feel like coming. If he got time. Now, you can put any any hella work orders in, whatever the fuck you want to get done at your house. Bitch, you want to wait. You know what I'm saying? So, and we had no female maintenance. So I was like, I seen a piece of her face too. I'm like, man. So I run up the stairs and um, I get back in the bed, lay down. She's like, babe, who's at the door? I'm like, my ex. She was like, I figured it was her because, you know, she had been, you know what I'm saying, calling and doing weird shit. So mind you, I'm in the house with her still, laying in the bed. My ex start calling my phone. She leaving crazy messages. I know you in the, I know you in the house with that bitch. And this is and that, you got me fucked up and just going off and saying crazy shit. She's like, you, a, I know you a little police calling ass bitch. I'm like, police calling ass bitch? Girl, you crazy. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> you feel me? Like, um, so this was at like nine in the morning. We, She's like, babe, I gotta go to work. So, you know, we're gonna have to leave at some point. I'm like, all right, cool. I'll take you to work. So we go down um, stairs. I open the door. I come out first, and I look around. I'm like, looking around. I'm like, all right, baby, come on. So she come out. I lock the door. She puts her hand on the doorknob. Soon as she touches that doorknob, that passenger side doorknob, to get in, nigga, my ex is coming around the corner in the car. <sighs> Mind you, where she coming from is a no parking zone. Like, you can't even park on the whole fucking block. She come around. We're parked like this in front of my house. She comes around the corner hella fast and goes, Arr! And cuts off the car right here, just like this. We in the car, like, because I had to run, I had to run in the car. I'm like, get in, get in, lock the door, lock the door. So we get in the car, lock the door. We sitting there. She gets out of her car, sits on top of our hood, of the car, sits on top of the hood, and looks at us through the through the window. Like, I'm like, oh my god. She's like, babe, is this happening right now? I'm like, bruh. It's happening right now. I'm like, oh my God. So I put my head down. And I'm like, can you just please leave us alone, please? Can you just like, can you just go away? Like, we don't want no problems. I'm not bothering you. Like, I don't call you. I don't do nothing. Like, can you just leave us alone? So she's in front of, she's sitting on the hood like this, looking at us, across her leg like, so what's up, shorty? Get out and talk to me. I'm like, I don't need to talk to you. Ain't nothing I need to talk to you about. Like, we don't need to talk. She like, hmm. I know you've been in the house eating pussy all night. <laughs> My girlfriend starts laughing. <laughs> so that makes her even more mad. Oh, I'm glad y'all think this motherfucking funny. I think this is so funny. So I'm, I got the car already cranked up. So I start putting this shit in neutral. So the car just rolling. Oh, so you just gonna hit me? You just gonna hit me? I'm like, 
no, I'm not going to hit you, Sam. Well, I'm going to hit you first. So she jumps off her car, gets in her car, and it was enough room for me to, like, whip around her. So I whipped around her, and we we off. It's a chase. It's a motherfucking chase. It's a car chase. It looked like something awful movie when I tell you this. I'm not exaggerating on my mama. I drove down the street. I'm running stop signs. Hit the corner. It's people in the street. I'm zooming. They look and they leaping out the they leaping out the way. I'm like, oh shit. So I'm driving down the street. Hit the corner again. She on my ass. So um we driving down the street, keep driving down the street, running lights, running stop signs. We get to mind you the whole time my girlfriend's screaming. She's like, baby, stop. Don't 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 she's like, don't stop, don't stop, keep going, keep going, don't don't stop the car, keep going. She just telling me to keep going. And I'm looking back in the rear view and she just in the rear view mirror i'm like oh i'm trying to go hell fast right so i'm driving and it was a, a red light it was about to turn red and it was a brand new cadillac on the left side of me so i'm driving and i just whip by the cadillac hella fast and zoom through the light i guess she tried to whip too to come like where i was at i looked at my rear view mirror Smack right back in the back of that brand new uh, Cadillac. She hit the Cadillac. I look at my rear view. Her head was on the steering wheel. Just tsh, and she's screaming like, don't fucking stop this car. Keep fucking going. I'm like, oh, my God. She's like, oh, my God. If you don't get a fucking restraining order against her, I cannot do this. Like, you have to get a restraining order against her. Like, she's crazy. What's wrong with her? Why is she doing this? And I'm like, I don't fucking know. Like, we broke up. I start fucking with you. Like, now she's tripping. She didn't want to be with me. Like, what the fuck? So we we drive to the fucking uh, police station because she's screaming. I didn't want to break up with her or her to break up with me because she felt like I didn't want to like get a restraining order against her. Like I never want to call nobody to be like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Can you tell her to leave me alone? How many times can I tell her friends or tell her or anybody or you know just saying or leave, text message whatever and say leave me alone? I'm cool. Like. Me, me not calling you and blocking you and everything is is that's enough to to tell you and show you like I don't want to fuck with you like I don't want no problems or no issues with you. So we go to the police station. I get the paperwork or whatever. We get to put put the paperwork in the car. And she was like, "Look, I you know what I'm saying she she's just too much. This is crazy." I'm like, "I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna handle it. Don't worry about it, babe. It's cool. Just go to work. I'm I'm gonna catch you later." So I take her to work. It's later on in the day. I come back home to my house. Now, mind you, I don't park my car where I normally park it because she know where I park at. So I park my car on the other side of a little housing um, area. And then I'm walking. As I'm walking out that parking lot, I see her car. Mind you, the car is fucked up. The hood look like this. She driving it, the windshield cracked, all the shit. She's she driving like this. I'm like, oh my god! So I run in my house. I run in the house and I look in the. I'm going there. I'm like, oh my god! So I sit on the floor and I'm peeping out the window. All I hear is, "Shorty, I love you. Come talk to me." I'm like, what the fuck? Mind you, she got on this dress that had hella crosses on it. I'm like, bruh, Jesus did not tell you to do this to me. What the fuck is going on? So my partner at the time. She was like, call the police on that bitch. She's crazy. She's going to fucking kill you. She's going to kill you, shorty. Stop thinking that she's not going to kill you. She's going to kill you. You better call the police on her. I'm like, I don't want to call the police on her. Like, she got kids. Like, that's, you know, I don't want to, you know, do none of that. I don't like the police. She like, fuck that shit, nigga. It's either you or her. I'm like, oh, God. Mind you, she was crazy. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. So, um, I called the police. They came. And I'm like, look, I don't want to put her in jail. I don't want her to do nothing but to leave me alone. So when the policeman came and he's talking to me and he's like, all right, let's go. Um, and he's like, where is she? I'm like, I don't know where she at. She, she was banging on my door and all the shit, but she's gone now. I don't know where she at. So we walked to my car. When we walked to my car, why is this girl sitting next to my car? Crying. The police officer is like, is that her? I said, yeah, that's her. Oh, my God. I'm like, what is she doing here? I'm not knowing she... I'm like, what the fuck? I was surprised that she was sitting next to the car. Like, she was sitting next to the car. 
Bruh, for, we just went through a high speed chase earlier in the day. You didn't wreck your car. And that, that wasn't even her car that she was in. That was her mama car. She didn't wreck her mama car. Um, you got a she had a gash, a big ass gash on her forehead. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So the officer was like, ma'am, what are you doing here? She's like, we're married, and she's fucking around with some other girl. I said, ah, 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 nope, nope, nope. I said, officer, I'm not married to her. We had a domestic partnership at the time, but I got it annulled. I got a stamp from the notary, sent to Sacramento, they sent it back to me, had a copy, had a copy in my car. Opened up my car door, I said, officer, here you go. I'm not married to her, I have no ties to her, period, you know? So I give him the paper, he read the paper, he like, ma'am, this says y'all not together no more. This says, this, this, it's been an all. She's sitting there looking at stupid like, well, she's messing with this girl and I don't understand it. I love her and I want to be with her. And he's like, ma'am, you cannot do this. Like, I understand your pain. We've all been there. But when someone tells you no and they don't want to be with you, you can't stalk them and all that shit. And he's looked at her and said, oh, my mama. He looked at her and said, Aren't you the girl that had the wreck earlier? I said, yes, officer. We, she was chasing me. And she was like, she didn't call. She didn't know. Uh, because I emailed her mama. I think I emailed her mama or I texted her mom. I texted her mom. I think I texted her mom and told her what had happened. Um, and she's like, she she told my mom what happened to the car. She trying to get my mom, get me in trouble with my mom. Yeah, yeah. And he just was telling her, like, ma'am, just go away. It's, it's cool. Now, mind you. I never wish I would never wish no harm on nobody, and I didn't want no harm done to her at all. You know what I'm saying? But um, when that she had the big gash on her head, I kept thinking about her kids, and I was like, "You need to go to the hospital and get that shit checked out. To make sure you don't have internal bleeding." You know what I'm saying? So, me being me, I was like. I'm going to make sure you're good. After that, I'm gone. Like, you, you, it's too much. So, I went to the hospital with her to make sure that she wasn't bleeding internally. Because I would never want that on my heart to know that something happened to her. And I know that I, you know what I'm saying, really cared about her kids. I didn't care about her at the time. I just cared about them. And I just didn't want them to, you know what I'm saying, lose their mom to jail or none of that shit. So that's why I didn't press no charges against her and none of that shit. So I was with her at the hospital. She was like crying and just telling me why am I with her. She's sorry, this and that. She'll do better. And then for like a week, we was cool and trying to see what was going on, even though that's crazy. But she's she was would never be... You know what I'm saying? Good to me at all. Or to, or to anybody for that matter. Um, so, the girl was like, you know, the girl I was talking to, she was like, oh, you know, you, all, you figure out what's going on, what you're going to do with that, because I, I can't deal with that. That's too much. I'm too pretty for this. Whoa. I'm like, okay, whatever. I, you know, I'll figure it out. And so, one day something clicked in my brain. I was at the house. I was getting ready to go on a date with my ex. Like, we were supposed to go hang out. And she, I was like, get dressed and all the shit. And I was at my house, and something clicked in my head and was like, don't go no fucking way with her. Like, fuck that shit. You want to be with that your, your girl? Go get your girl. So I called my girl. I was like, hey, babe, I miss you. I want to see you. Come over. And she was like, all right, come get me. So I left my house. So when I left my house, I went to go get her from her house. And my ex was, like, blowing my phone up. So she drove to my house, which I didn't know. She later on told me that she drove to my house and knocked on the door and know that I wasn't there or whatever. And then she had left. By the time I got my girlfriend and came back to the house, we was at the house chilling or whatever. You know, doing what we was doing because we was together. Um, and that was just, like, insane crazy. And then um, later on... My car and the car that my mom bought for me got burnt up, toasted. Both of them was total. The Impala I had wasn't even paid for. And the Infinity truck that I had just got for my birthday for my mom, I didn't even have it. Not even like three months or four months yet. Not even that long. And 
my mom was sick at that time she had just had yeah she had just had um, a stroke and she would not let me do insurance or online. She wanted to go in, like old school, go in. So we didn't have insurance on that truck. And that Impala wasn't paid off yet. I was paying the bank back, you know, for the loan or whatever. Toasted both of my cars. You know, my ex acted like she didn't do it, but it was like, who else would have did it? <laughs> so I didn't have no car for a minute. And I got a brand new car after that. God is good. You know what I'm saying? I got a brand new car. And, um, it was crazy. So, moral of the story for the story time is, um, if you see red flags, even if you feel like they're not red flags, don't ignore them. If you see little shit that you like, Aah. don't hesitate to address it and don't ignore it. And definitely don't take back anybody that's crazy. Don't um don't fuck with nobody that <laughs> would try to fucking kill you and your girlfriend. And um don't lose good people for people that really ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Um The crazy part is um about this story, um only my close friends knew about this story. I didn't tell nobody. Um, people knew my car got burnt up, though, and then, you know, even some of her friends was being catty, you know, on Facebook, like, oh, I wonder who did that? And then she tried to say, oh, you just did that for insurance, but we didn't even have no insurance. That Impala, I didn't have no, my insurance had stopped on the Impala, and I didn't get a chance to get insurance on the truck yet, so we didn't have insurance, so we didn't have nothing. <laughs> when we lost the cars, it was just like, I had to start over. We didn't get no insurance money, none of that shit, because we didn't have insurance. So it was like, it was just a loss. I had to take that L. Um, things could have went totally left. And um, my mom was like, no, we, we just going to do it the right way. Take her to court, get a restraining order against her. Like, for real, for real. The judge was like, I don't think she did this. I'm like, okay. Mind you, after that, after uh, my uh, cars got burnt up, um, that was that was 2016 when my cars got burnt up because I had just started dating my, my now wife. But the year before that, um, she had sent me like crazy emails. When I went to Miami, I went to Sweet Heat and we had broke up. We was already not together like 2015 she was just sending me crazy emails like you know talking hella shit because you know i had blocked her but i all i can say about shit like that is ain't nothing cute about being with nobody that's toxic i'm just gonna put it out there you know what i'm saying like i'm at a place in my life right now where i feel like I don't give a fuck about what nobody think, nobody say. I don't give a fuck what she thinks about this video. I don't care about what nobody else has to say about it. Because my close friends who know about the story know the truth. They know what's up. Even my girl knows what's up. Because I was afraid that I was going to lose her because of her. Like, every time I was trying to talk to somebody, it was just she, it was the shit she was doing. It was kind of like... If I can't have you, no one can. Even if I don't want you, and if I know that I'm not the one for you, I know we're not going to be together. I know it's not going to work. I still want to jeopardize you. Like, I still was trying to co-parent and everything when I was dating that girl at the time. And, you know, you know, she would be funny. I'm supposed to pick him up from school. <laughs> or pick him up to take him for the first day of school. She tried to leave heck early so it could look like I just never showed up. Just weird shit. But, you know, like, it that experience taught me to never fuck with nobody with kids for one and to never fuck with nobody who has who was in a situation right before me you know what i'm saying like you got a baby daddy you was talking to your baby daddy right before me like that's you know like if there's no space between that it's just like you know people gonna lie you know people ain't gonna tell you the truth all the way but i i just don't like the fact that 
bad energy was coming my way from people that she was dating or used to date or whatever because they're not knowing the whole story. I didn't go after this woman, like, to be honest. Like, I didn't even know that she liked me till later on. I was just was chilling. We was talking. And she was cool. Had a conversation at the time. But um, she liked me when I was dating somebody else. And she had a dude. So um, I didn't know that until she had told me. Like, yeah, remember when I saw you at the mall? And I was just kept trying to talk to you. And I was like, yeah. I, now, mind you, I, when I fuck with somebody, I don't be paying attention to the flirty shit. Now, if you don't blatantly say, like, hey, I want to fuck you, then I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to think nothing of you saying hello and small talk. I'm not going to think nothing of that. So I didn't think nothing of it. But looking back on it, I was like, oh, yeah, she was. You know what I'm saying? Trying to see what was up with me. But um, that was crazy. Um, last time I saw the girl that I was dating, um, we actually got in an Uber together uh, not too long ago. And it was awkward but we was cool like me and her we don't have no bad blood um if if she wanted to be friends with me to this day i would still be friends with her not my ex but the girl the other girl i was dating um the dancer i would i would be friends with her because she was a cool person we were you know we were friends at first and then we you know just became more but um yeah man she was crazy so, um, I am writing my book. Uh, I can't tell you when it's going to come out. Just look out for it. But that story that I just told you will be in my book. I have to, um, um, alter names. Probably be similar. You know, people that know me would know who I'm talking about. But, um, yeah. But I have to, you know, figure all that shit out and let you know. But, yeah, I just want to tell y'all that crazy ass story um that happened to me <laughs> so uh if you got a crazy story you know what i'm saying feel free to share it make sure you follow me on instagram at i love all my fans twitter's the same snapchat is i love all my fans one tiktok is i love all my fans two what else I got? Facebook, Young Shorty Duop, my artist page. Make sure y'all go get my album, Night and Day, um, by YZ. Type Y dot S dot D dot. Um, you find me everywhere. SoundCloud, iTunes, Spotify, all that shit. Make sure you support. Make sure you get your fear nothing, conquer everything, because this was a long time coming. Website coming up real soon. And, um, yeah. Peace. Love and laughter. <laughs>